Hey guys. Strange lanes. <laughs> We're in a hurry again. Welcome back to the Anime Collector. Um, so we've had kind of an eventful day. <laughs> we are... God, this is, <laughs> this is horrible! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we've had sort of an eventful day. Um, we were... Okay, so, so on our way home from Kiza Monogatari last night, we got pulled over because the license plate lamps were out. Uh, so I had to get those replaced. So we tried to go to AutoZone today and uh, pick those up. And when we tried to leave uh, the house, we have like the our, our bug um, pest, control, pest guy. control guy puts these glue traps at either end of our garage to catch, you know, critters and stuff that go in there. And I was about to get in the car and I noticed that it was not where it's supposed to be. And it turned out a snake had gone in there <laughs> and uh, he got his head stuck and he like flipped the box around and we had to spend like, I don't know, a good half hour. <laughs> no, probably 15 minutes total. But it took us a while to get him out of there. Um, but we're on our way to go see your name. Um, I'm going like way too fast, <laughs> but uh, probably, gonna get pulled <laughs> probably. <again. laughs> this time it'll be something serious. So we're on our way to see your name. Um, Julie has absolutely, she has, she doesn't know anything about it. She doesn't know the characters' names. She doesn't know what the story's about. She knows absolutely nothing about it. So with that in mind, um, I'm not going to go ahead and give you guys what I think it's going to be about. I'm just going to say that um, Julie and I have seen um, most of Shinkai's films. Um, so I expect it to look really beautiful, like Garden of Words and um, you know just any of his any of his work. I love that. Movie. Yeah. So that we're expecting good. it. We're expecting it to look good. Um, we know that it's the highest grossing anime of all time. Other than that, that's really all we know about it. I know of one extra detail um, and something else that I'll, I'll bring up at the okay. end. Okay. <laughs> but uh, but I like, that's basically we're going in blind. So anyway, um, I'm gonna make, uh, I, hopefully we'll get there in time. We're gonna try to see it dubbed, but if we're a little bit too late, cause we've only got 50 minutes to get there and we've, we've got a drive ahead of us. So um, I'm hoping that we can get there in time. If not, we might have to go to the subbed version instead, but uh, we will check back in uh, when we get there, if that's the case. God, that's a roundabout way to get there. Okay, we'll do that. And then we should have just enough time to rush up and get, get tickets and get in depending on how parking is, I don't know. I mean, you don't, not a lot of people go to the movies at this time of day, right? Not really, no. Yeah. Not on a Wednesday. Remember that time we went to see Crank and the only other guy in the theater was, was the, the guy, guy pirating, pirating it? it, yeah. <laughs> Where's the theater? Can you, uh, is that it right there? That's it. Arizona Mills? So yeah. Just park right there? Yes. It's been a very long time since I've been to a movie theater that's inside of a mall. Yeah. Oh, it is. So we went in the wrong entrance and we have to walk all the way across here to get to it. There you go. Thank you. Have a great day. Oh, let's go. Best movie ever. <laughs> I love this. I recorded that. <laughs> that was a very candid moment. It was really good. <laughs> I was going to say now we have a long walk back to the car. We have to hold in everything we want to say about the movie to save it for the video. <laughs> Holy shit, it was good though. Yeah. It was really good. This is going to overheat so fast. <laughs> so, it's really hot right here. I'm going to let Julie give her talk about it while I just move to a spot in the shade. <laughs> so what did you think? I definitely loved it. I yeah. had no idea what it was going to be she about. She had no idea. I knew it was going to be good, mm -hmm. but I didn't, of, yeah, yeah. Well, how could it not because be with how, how much, it. well, because of who made it and how much it's made, uh, it's the highest grossing film and all that. Yeah, and there was more than just us in the theater. Like yeah, unlike he's the one who got to. Yes. But, oh my gosh. I cried like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it I'm was park pretty. here for now. It was pretty deep. So, going into it, I knew about the uh, the body switching, mm -hmm. and I read something 
on Reddit that I'm really glad I didn't bring up because it seemed okay. I I skimmed it on Reddit. It was it wasn't that long, but I didn't I didn't read enough of it. But I read about there's a scene in the movie where they write each other's names on their hands, and you can tell that the girl Mizuha Mitsuha was not writing her name because in Hiragana, and you see her write her name in Hiragana. Mi, as in Mitsuha, is written like this. So it has a very specific first stroke. And you can tell that the stroke she's writing goes left to right, you know? And people were speculating that she was writing Sukida or Skida, which means, you know, I love you. And I thought, wow, that's a really interesting thing. And then, then when you see her hand, that's what he wrote. I'm like, what? You idiots. Like, <laughs> and um, I, I was all prepared to say, you know, I had this whole thing in my head about how I, I think that that's a really romantic, because I hadn't seen the film yet. I didn't know what, what that was even about. I was going to say, it's a very romantic way to say it. But if she was writing it in katakana, then it would be like this, you know? So it would have, it would have actually been warranted for her to start with that stroke. But... So I gotta say, um, I loved it. Um, I actually think I liked Garden of Words more personally, uh, only because this movie for me, I feel like once you've seen it once, the magic is kind of gone. Do you agree? Yes and no. Because Maybe it, not for me because I'm more of a. Because the story is romance. kind of like, first of all, Spoilers. Just got to say that. Definitely going to be spoilers in this review, but I just got to say that um, it was really incredible. Things I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting this whole erased um, like storyline at all. I wasn't expecting that. I, I literally, I watched Erased like last month. Like I, I just saw it and I loved it except for the ending. I thought this handled the ending fantastically um the the way that they told the story the sort of um th you know they gave you all the plot twists had the perfect amount of of precursors to it why don't you unbuckle yes, sorry. sorry um all all the plot twists had the perfect amount of we gave you that you know ahead of time we showed you this at the very beginning of the movie they open with the scene of the comet coming down so you think as you watch it that the comet is coming back around later you know, or it's a different comet or something. Um, and you think that, you know, maybe maybe them seeing it together, you know, at the same time is why, something to do with why they're switching bodies and stuff. Um, but uh, they really did an amazing job giving you the information ahead of time and having it come back around full circle. You know, they just did an incredible job with that. The time lapses that everybody's ranting about, they're fantastic unbelievable um what they what they were able to accomplish and then something that i really liked and I, I i there's just so much going on right now i'm actually really terrible at these first impressions things because i need to digest a film before i talk about it um but one of the things that i noticed while i was watching it that i i thought was really clever is they have all these incredible shots of doors closing right? And they're the sliding doors, whether it's the train doors or, you know, just the sliding doors in the school and whatnot, you see them from this low angle and you see them closing. And then at a certain point in the movie, all of a sudden they're showing those shots of the doors opening. And, uh, you know, there's like some symbolism going on there. And then, um, the doors close and they open and they close and they open. And it just, it was really, did you pick up on that? Like, did you notice that when you're watching it? Yeah, I did. I did notice that. Um, I, you know, it's it's hard to watch a film for me, especially when I only have a chance to see it once, you know, before talking about it, because I'm watching it from the perspective of a filmmaker, you know, and that's kind of when, when um, Mr. Nice Guy and I were talking about Ghost in the Shell, we were both looking at things from the perspective of people in different um, places in the movie making industry, you know, him from an editing standpoint, me from sort of an effects standpoint, but also having some knowledge of editing and whatnot. And it's, I gotta say, like, it was almost distracting how beautifully edited this film was and how, how wonderfully put together, like in Garden of Words, they really go out of their way to like, every scene is almost overdone in terms of how painterly it is. Uh, they really don't, I, I almost wouldn't, I didn't recognize this as Shinkai, uh, to be honest. Like, um, some of the sky stuff, 
and the like but it's just it seemed it seemed I, I felt like um, I was watching Hosoda a little bit um, who's the guy who did Summer Wars and the Digimon movie and stuff yeah, kind of like didn't it didn't it really kind but of the, feel like a blend between them kind of but the way the movie feels when you watch it is definitely not I gotta say so the summer wars or whatever. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I meant like the, like the character design and all that just kind of like in the the colors and stuff. I don't know, but to me it was it was beautiful. It was. Yeah. It was masterfully put together and I have to say that it is a roller coaster. City I, first of all, you have to see it in theaters. If if you watch this and you need a prompt to go see it in theaters, would you agree it was absolutely worth it? Yeah, big screen absolutely was worth, worth it. it. Just the the visuals of I, it. I I would be disappointed in myself if I bought the DVD later and realized I had the opportunity to see it in theaters and didn't. That is how much I think you should definitely go see it in theaters. We did get into the dub screening. Um, the dub was great, and I was really one of the major reasons I wanted to see the dub because we saw Kizumonogatari subbed, right? Um, we saw that yesterday, and I hate seeing a movie subbed when I can't go back and watch it more than once because my, I feel like I can only focus on the lower third of the movie because I'm reading when the, the subtitles. Is so huge, right? Especially the, when the like screen the is large. The words are like at your eye height, and then you have to continuously yeah, try so, to keep up with the screen above you. I mean, with Kizumonogatari, we kind of got away with it because we had seen the we had we had heard the the audiobook for the light novel. But yeah. but with this movie, I'm really glad that we didn't have to read subtitles because we were able to just take in the scenery porn that, that Shinkai does so incredibly well. And I don't know, like I, I just I I don't even know what to say about it. It was it was amazing in ways I didn't expect at all. Like I I the the simple stuff that I went in knowing. I knew that they were going to do this body switching thing because it's like, it's given away. I mean, it's, it's given away in all the synopsises that you read when I'm looking it up on movie phone, you know? But um, the way that they handled it was so incredible and so, like... Not typical anime. Not at all. Yeah, okay, let me Go just ahead. say Sorry, something. Just, yeah. yeah. If you would have, if I would have known anything about this, like going and like the body switching, I would have been like, oh, yeah, it, it, typical yeah. anime. Yeah. But it was more like the lake house with the yes. body switching. Do you, do you remember that one? I think it, who, yeah, I just looked it Keanu up. Keanu Reeves and... Um, was it Sandra Bullock? Yeah, somebody. Uh, where there's like yeah, a time Sandra difference. Bullock. Yeah, I felt that. I was going to bring that up too. I'm glad you yeah. brought that up. And so, and then he... I don't want to spoil it. So can I spoil Go it? Ahead. Go ahead. And then the, you know, he plenty prevents of her death. <laughs> yeah, so, which is the erased element. Which is the erased yeah. element. But to me, I was like, wow, that's what I was thinking. And when I was watching him, like, this is really great. They've got great symbolism. They they put the body switching together. I mean, of course, they have like the, the oh, guy. God, yeah. They're like feeling each other's privates like, what? And, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so but, I, I, I've got to say this. This, I think, is a very accurate way of describing the film. Shinkai took ideas from Erased, The Lake House, all these different things, and he took his, his signature Shinkai style. And when I did the, when I did the first impression of Ghost in the Shell, I said that it's like they took from all the different series of Ghost in the Shell, threw it in a blender, and didn't care how it came out. This is an example of somebody taking ideas, putting them in a blender, and making something wonderful out of it. This was so incredible. Oh man, I, I I don't care if it's recycled. Oh, I mean, but like, it doesn't the thing feel is, recycled. he did it better. That's what I mean, is that he took these ideas and he made them better. It's better than erased in the sense that the story holds up better and it goes, um, I, I feel like it reaches farther. Uh, erased on its own, you know, the, the journey through watching Erased is, um, that's a roller coaster in itself and it's definitely worth seeing but I feel like the ending to a race in my opinion is such an incredible letdown that that his ability to fix that you know like I feel better about a race because of your name you know and I feel like he did the lake house so much better so much more exciting so much more at stake you know with with having to prevent people's death like the whole town <laughs> Incredible. Does she in the lake house? I, in the lake house. Yeah, I he gets hit by a bus trying to meet her, and she's like, you know, she's like, don't, don't come, don't come and find me. Like, really, don't come and find me. 
Because she makes, they make these reservations like way ahead of time. Like right. they, they I, find out they have a time difference. And... I have a terrible memory with movies. A terrible I'm memory. I'm telling you, I like romantic films. Yeah. And You've seen I it more was, than once. So. I, you know what? When you're sick and yeah. HBO is anyway, there, it's on like all the time. <laughs> I, I only remember that Keanu Reeves is in it and they communicated through the mailbox. That's all I remember. That's all I remember. Anyway. It was good. Well, for me. <sighs> oh, I'm still coming down from the high. The movie was, was like, it was... Better than Kisa Monogatari by a long shot. By a long shot. It was better than Ghost in the Shell, even further, in my opinion. Um, God, I don't know. I it was it was incredible. So anyway. Whew, final final say, I'm just you're gonna reiterate here, definitely see it in theaters. Bring tissues. Yeah, it is a tearjerker and don't wear mascara, dear yeah. girl, because you will have it running. Oh God! You you should have already seen it if you're listening to all the spoilers we gave. Yeah. I mean, but uh, God, you know, I, I just I'm gonna have to. I will definitely have to come uh, back to this later once the DVDs come out and I have a chance to to sort of digest it more because there was just so much coming at you and it was such a feast for the eyes um, and the story itself was so well put together compared to Shinkai's normal stuff. Um, which not not all of his stuff is bad, but just some of it, like you kind of have to, um, I don't know, you just have to enjoy the scenery more than the story. This, absolutely not. The story and the scenery are, are you know, on level ground, you know? Um, so anyway, or I don't want to just keep, <laughs> just keep prolonging this. Um, I'm just going to say it's definitely worth seeing. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen in theaters. Um, it, it, it really does make sense why it made so much money in Japan. You know, it is it is that good. I'm gonna just gonna say that the hype is it's not overhyped at all. Um, I think it's I I hate to say it. I almost feel like it's underhyped because of how how many good things I've heard about the film and it it more than lived up to the expectations by far. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, our little first impressions here. Um, I don't know what else is gonna come out next, but I'm hoping that we have a chance to see it because this has been a lot of fun to do. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and definitely, before I forget, definitely check out Mr. Nice Guy's video that he did recently on Shinkai, um, because it is uh, a very interesting look at uh, Shinkai's style and stuff. I'll, I'll definitely have it up there. Uh, go check that out. But that's it for us for now. Uh, we have to, you know, it's been kind of busy. We've got to reconnect with Grandma and uh, and Eli and figure out what we're going to do from here. Rainforest Cafe. Rainforest Cafe. Okay, yeah. so that's what we're going to do. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll, we'll catch you next time.